There's a real tendency when looking at conflicts in Africa for Americans to feel very detached from them. There's not usually an attempt by the general public to think about the ways in which we're complicit and connected to the conflicts. But the global economy has been built on the sacrifice of certain people and places. And one of these places that's one of the primary sacrifice zones for the global economy is the Eastern Congo. I've worked for USAID and the State Department a couple of times to look at issues of human rights in Congo. A number of people came to me and talked about being employed as slave laborers to mine coltan, but at that time I'd never heard of coltan. The importance of coltan as a conflict mineral is absolutely related to the proliferation of consumer electronics and mobile devices. You'll find coltan in your laptops, your cell phones, your Blackberries, your iPads. You will find it in any portable consumer electronic. And the importance of coltan, not just in our everyday lives, but as a revenue source for armed groups of the Congo is something that has exploded over the last 25 years. Much of Congo is relatively peaceful today, but there is a region near the Uganda border. It's a region that is mountainous and heavily forested and has a lot of minerals, including diamonds and coal pen. This one corner of the country is still doing very badly. In the worst cases, people are digging these things out of the ground under threat of violence to themselves or their families, often at gunpoint, often using rape as a means of coercion. That doesn't even get into the conditions under which they're working. People are often working barefoot. They're spending many hours a day in standing water. It doesn't matter if people are sick, it doesn't matter if women are pregnant, it doesn't matter if we're talking about children who are five or six years old. Everyone is brought to work into the mines. The question of how this is all allowed to happen actually brings us to some very ugly truths. Many of the cell phone manufacturers and computer manufacturers will, will wash their hands of it and say, oh, well, we're not involved in this mining. But the reality is that they are driving this. And frankly, we're driving it because we want low-cost products. The people who are producing products for us should be living much better lives than they're living. And right now in Congo, they're not.